Hey everyone, what's going on? It is Zedek Blitz of the City Gamers. Welcome back to some more Black Ops 2 multiplayer gameplay. This will be a 42 gun streak nuclear on the map standoff using the Chickum CQB, so also regular domination. But you may be wondering, whoa, I don't see much of Black Ops 2 on my channel besides Black Ops 2 Live, which is pretty much just, you know, regular live commentaries where I do seemingly well and not too horrible. And I want to get back into doing regular Call of Duty commentaries, you know, giving tips. I used to do these all the time back when Mono for 3 was out and Black Ops 1 was out. I did these videos all the time, every single day. I enjoyed doing them. I think the reason I switched to Minecraft and kind of just stopped Call of Duty Cold Turkey was because when Black Ops 2 came out in the beginning, I wasn't too great at the game because the learning curve for Mono for 3 to this game, in my opinion, was a little bit higher than usual. At least for me, I, I didn't adjust to it perfectly well right off the bat. But eventually, you know, I got pretty good at it. So, I took a break from it and started doing Minecraft a lot. And I want to come back to Black Ops 2. So, hopefully, I still have some, you know, good Black Ops 2 or just regular Call of Duty fans out there. Hopefully, you guys stuck around for what was pretty much a year of me not doing Call of Duty. Besides the recent, you know, last few months of doing Zombies and Black Ops 2 Live and all, all those things. But... Like I said before, this video is a 42 gun streak nuclear, and in this video I want to give some tips for getting actual nuclears or just staying alive doing well, because this is also a 51 to 0 flawless game with that 42 gun streak nuclear, which is pretty good. And this gameplay was actually recorded a very, very, very long time ago. I believe within the first two months of this game releasing is when I got this gameplay. So it's pretty old, and what's even more ironic is the day I decided to do these commentaries again and shows this gameplay to be my first one coming back, I actually got a 43 gun streak nuclear on this same map on regular domination. So you guys will be seeing that a little bit into the future because obviously I'm not going to post a uh, standoff gameplay again right after I post the first one. So. Anyways, let's get into it for some tips here. The first thing I want to show you guys is my class setup for this class because I don't use the chicken too often and this class, like I said before, it was recorded a long time ago so my classes are changed now like how I actually use them. So I'll give you guys some changes that I would do to this specific class but obviously it worked pretty well for me in this gameplay so it may work for you too. Anyways, on screen now you guys will be seeing my class it is the chicken CQB with fast mags and that's all. I would recommend that actually if you guys want to use one more thing I would say fast mag and maybe laser sight something along that line it really depends on your play style if you aim down sight more if you hip fire more with the chickum I suggest hip firing into an aim down sight which is what I really recommend for all SMGs but moving right along I have perk 1 and 2 greed with hardline flag jacket scavenger toughness and dexterity for my third perk and my lethal is simtex and those are all 10 of my slots now, one thing I would definitely change about this class is put C4 on instead of Simtex because C4 is overpowered and it's amazing. It's almost like a free kill. If you know that they're on the other side of wherever you're throwing it, it's almost a guaranteed kill because Flag Jacket does protect you, but not all the time. And it's pretty, pretty amazing. And other than that, this class is actually pretty good. Hardline apparently reduces the points needed for your score streaks by 20% which is amazing and it's definitely helpful in getting your black birds. I'll get to my score tricks in a second here. And then of course scavenger, you need those extra bullets to actually continue using the gun you want to use. If you don't use scavenger, you may pick up some random, let's say SWAT with like an EOTech site with the worst reticle you can find. And I don't really know, I don't really use the bad guns that often. So use scavenger, make sure you keep the gun you want to use and of course refill your C4s because they're obviously very, very useful. And toughness is really good for three burst weapons because toughness reduces your flinch when you get shot at. So when you're in gunfights and you get shot at and you're shooting at them, if you have toughness, you have the advantage over them because you won't be flinching as much as they are. So that's pretty much the class. That's really off to go over. Dexterity, it's kind of a hit or miss. If you're on a map like Standoff, you mantle things a lot on this map in my opinion, so Dexterity is useful. If you're on a map, say, like Nuketown, I would say Tactical Mask because you're not mantling too many things on Nuketown. And if you are, you don't really need to mantle them fast. So those are my opinions and thoughts for those perks. Now moving along to my score streaks, I have UAV, Lightning Strike, and Blackbird. Now this is a good setup, but I would definitely recommend if you're going for Nuclears, go UAV, Counter UAV, and Blackbird. Because these three kill streaks will, one, if they're all up in the air, will get you 30 points for every time your teammates get a kill. 
Now that adds up. Three kills by your teammates almost equals a kill for you if you have all three of those in the air at one time, which is insane. And there's the nuclear right there, by the way. Right after the second round starts, which is pretty nice. Then I, of course, continue on my 42 gun streak, 51 no flawless. So, Lightning Strike, I would definitely recommend switching to Counter V. Unless you really want to use Lightning Strike, of course, in this gameplay, if I wasn't using it, then I probably would have only gone about 42 and 0. I mean, who knows how many kills I would have gone? Who knows I could have died? I really can't tell. I may have even not gotten the nuclear. I don't really know. But I definitely recommend the UAV, Counter V, Blackbird setup. And something I definitely, definitely recommend when you're going for a nuclear is, of course, have the Blackbird on and play a little bit defensively. Don't camp. But don't be super all-out rushy because you really need to get that first Blackbird. Once you get that first Blackbird, you got to start rushing and get that constant flow of Blackbirds. If you see my BO2 Live videos, you know that when we get a Blackbird, we almost always continue it on to almost the entire game. Or at the very least, I always talk about getting that constant flow because I play with at least one to two good teammates who can obviously get Blackbirds like I can. And when you just have constant blackbirds, it's so, so easy to get kills and, you know, nuclears and every type of score streak there is. So definitely play a little bit more defensively when you're going for the first blackbird. And then once you get it, play super, super more aggressive to keep on getting more and more before your first one runs out. Alrighty, so I covered the class, I covered the score tricks, and I covered some general tips to get nuclears. So... The only other things I could really say to really help you guys is just play smart, try and learn where they're going to be before they actually are there. So like, obviously if your teammates are on one side of the map and you're on the other side of the map by yourself, odds are the enemy is going to be near you. So what you should always do is always try to distance yourself from your actual teammates because that gives you a much higher chance of the enemies being around you and getting more kills for yourself, which is what we all want, of course. So... Those are my tips. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my return to Call of Duty commentaries, giving tips. If you guys want tips or anything else on the game, definitely leave them in the comment section below. And also leave in the comment section if you guys are excited for more Black Ops 2 commentaries by me. Or if these tips helped you. And if they helped you actually get a nuclear, make sure you guys tell me that because that would be really awesome. I always feel good when I give tips and actually help people improve their own playing style. It really does feel good. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like rating for the return of Black Ops 2. And also, if you guys really enjoyed and thought these tips were helpful, make sure you guys share it around with your friends via YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or Reddit. As well as, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe to see more Black Ops 2 content similar to this one. High gun streaks, nuclears, high killing gameplays, or in fact, maybe you guys might like some Minecraft. I also do Minecraft on the channel. And here at the end, I'm actually showing you guys my stats to show I actually did get 12 Unstoppables, which means a 42 gun streak. So... Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you all later. Have a nice day, guys. Peace out.